Just for a moment, forget everything you know about art exhibits. Forget that you're supposed to stand there quietly. And forget that you shouldn't touch anything. Here, at the hottest art show in DC memory, the whole idea is to engage, immerse yourself, and enjoy the work of Yayoi Kusama. Incredible, incredible to think of uh, her vision and um, you know the infinite possibilities which are always there but to have it up front and to see it like that i'm just blown away keyword infinite say some infinite lineups outside washington's hirshhorn museum the yayoi kusama retrospective touring north america with a stop next year in toronto gives away 10,000 tickets every week, but every week it gets 50,000 requests. And the polka dot room isn't even the big attraction. This is. Six so-called infinity rooms. Mirrors and lights and the vastness of everything where there is no horizon, no up, no down, waiting for you to step right in. In this room, Full of giant spheres, the idea is to stay outside but to peer into the apparent abyss. Turn off your mind, connect the dots, and dream. Just tell me what you're feeling. I feel like I'm on an acid trip. <laughs> it's also popular that your time inside any of the rooms is kept to a minimum. You might have waited 20 minutes to get to this spot, but you've got just 20 seconds to experience it. No matter, they say. You kind of get lost in all the, on the art that's in there, you know what I mean? It brings you in and you don't want to leave. They said you had 22 seconds, and that's two seconds more than everybody else. It makes a difference. <laughs> Impossible to resist. We were invited to tag along for 20 seconds into a room called the souls of a million light years away. What do you think? It is infinity, whichever direction you look at. It's a totally immersive experience. It's like being out floating in the stars. Isn't it? It's Isn't cool. It just... Wow. Oh, and it's over. <laughs> Let's go. So you, you could be out there in the universe suspended, whichever way you saw you would see infinity. Tumbling, it isn't it? It is, yes, it is. We're so small, aren't we? Yayoi Kusama, the artist behind all of it, made her name in Japan, New York, and worldwide in the 1960s. Even then, fixated on endless polka dots, affixing them everywhere. Kusama suffered a nervous breakdown in the 70s, checked herself into a hospital where she has lived and worked ever since. She doesn't run from her mental illness. Instead, she embraces it. Her art, as she's put it, translates hallucinations. And the art world has embraced her. Remember the room with all the polka dots? Here's how it started out. Then they opened the doors to those unending lineups, and the Hirshhorns never looked back playing a key role in all of it, a transplanted Canadian. Couldn't have worked out better for chief curator Stéphane Akin from Montreal. Should we add to the art? Well, oh, <laughs> look what we be my, have. Be my guest. <laughs> OK, I'm going to put. So this is where you become an artist. This is where I become an artist. Yeah. Akin is thrilled. The show is so popular. Equally thrilled at how. This being the 21st century, the Kusama exhibit has basically become a kind of selfie heaven. And I think that Kusama, this, uh, that this exhibition will, will go down in the, in the collective memory as a landmark of, of, of some sort of social experience. So what I like about it is that it's really low tech. Although it's all about social media, the experience of it and sharing and, and people are on their phones. And in DC, a city lately inundated with ugly politics and infighting, it's also become a welcome break from reality. Something that is so whimsical and fantastical that you don't think of anything else but this when you're here. You're, you're definitely not worried about someone nuking some other country at this moment. And so they come. 
not to think or explain or interpret, but to experience and absolutely to be dazzled. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.